blind date with Keith Relf. Keith Relf reviews the singles of April 1966. It's Paul Jones singing in a high key, much higher than I expect of him. It's quite difficult to recognize him. I like this very much. It's great. It's certainly not as dramatic as I had expected after a six-month absence from the recording scene. Not exactly crashing back with a big bang, but gentle numbers are coming back. This will definitely be a big hit. Very pretty number that grows on you. That's a hairy sound. This is off the Rubber Soul Beatles album, isn't it? Nowadays, everyone is bending notes and using fuzz boxes. I'm so fed up with people copying Beatle numbers. Rubber Soul has set up about six other groups, and I feel this is another one having a go. Take it off. I can't stand another copy of a Beatles number. What a gorgeous opening. Love this. Don't know who it is. Who? Oh, Carol King. Love the musical progression of this. They have broken away from accepted formulas. And I admire anybody working along those lines. Some nice classical intonation which again shows a broadening of outlook. It will be a medium hit. I think it's fantastic. Gonna bring it on home to you. I think about oh, Sonny Boy Williamson. The kids who followed us around when we started will probably buy this one. Unfortunately, there wouldn't be enough to make it a hit. We love him. It pains me a bit to hear this. I was fairly close to Sonny Boy. I'll buy this. My name is Bob. Codename Brooke. I joined the tea set. My mission to wipe out folk music before it took over the world. Oh yeah, great. It's brilliant. So brilliant. It's a great send up. This has enough current ideas in it. The kids have got to hear this within three weeks before the jokes become out of date. Everyone should hear it while the topics are current. I don't think it will be a hit. Maybe the lower regions of the chart. The lyrics are fabulous but it hasn't got the musical performance which is needed. Just like the Baron Knights, who mixed the humor with a beat. Petula Clark. I recognize the singer, and Jeff Beck recognizes the session men. It's not as good as my love. I don't think she'll get a hit with this one. Very medium hit if anything. That's all. Who knows? The answer may lie in the heat of the sun. David McCallum. I wish I had been the harp player on this. It must be another send-up. It's not even as funny as Ted Rogers. If he's trying to be funny, then at least he should get a funny song. That riff is straight from the four tops. This is probably one of our wonderful beautiful white soul singers. They should be put in a slave boat. I'm sure some planter in the southern states of America will let them serve their apprenticeship on a cotton plantation. By the way, who was it? They were trying to do something they couldn't do. Is it Paddy Klaus and Gibson or someone? I don't think it will be a hit. There's nothing that strikes me as new in this. I thought it was going to stay pure and simple, but it tried to move on and didn't succeed. It might have been better if it had stayed with the basic melody in the vein of the intro. No, it's a normal pop song. I would have expected the toys to do this. It's not the toys though, is it? It's English. Is it Twinkle? No, Billy Davis. It's just another cover. It's a bit trashy, isn't it? You can take it off. It's absolutely predictable. Too predictable. These people make the same kind of records all the time. 